Hey, what's up, guys? This is KD Cloudy, and we had the official launch of Android 11 several months ago when it first dropped onto the Pixel devices. And you know, right now with December and January, a bunch of other devices like Oppo and OnePlus they saw their first OTA updates and beta versions. Uh, but yeah, we are not really about official OTA updates. We are about ROMs and enthusiast great stuff. So yeah. Thanks to kind of the flourishing Android development community and the people who are actively developing ROMs, uh, we are able to run Android 11 on this Nexus 5. This phone came in 2013, that was like seven, eight years ago, depending on when you're watching this. And it's crazy, I mean, it's like, I mean, Apple obviously has a great track record when it comes to maintaining support for their old devices, but this thing even beats Apple, like no, unofficial support is kind of pretty crazy and like the thought of running the latest OS on such an old device and it even running smoothly kind of blows my mind. So yeah, by the way, this is uh, this is Lineage OS 18.1, the unofficial version. And if you want to install it yourself, I'll leave the detailed instructions, the step-by-step -step guide the link for the ROM, the G apps, the TWRP and everything else down below in the description. But for now, let's take a look at how Android 11 works on the Nexus 5, how slow it is and how all the features work. So yeah, let's get into it. So here we are running Android 11 on the OG Nexus 5. And uh, this is the, this is my old Nexus 5 from, I bought this in 2014. And this is the matte black variant as you can see. The back's all busted up, the lettering has all come out, but that does not matter because all the inner workings, all the internals are working pretty much as good as new and the software is as good as new. We are running Android 11 on this seven year old device. It's, it's pretty mind blowing to be honest. And uh, obviously it's through Lineage OS 18.1. So, and you know, just for shits and giggles, let's go to the Easter egg. I mean, how is this an Android walkthrough version without the Easter egg? So here we are, the Android 11 Easter egg. I'm just gonna dial that a couple of times. And that's Android 11. A pretty a pretty boring Easter egg as far as Easter eggs go, but nevertheless it is. And that's your Lineage OS 18.1, unofficial for Hammerhead. And yeah, let's talk about installation for a little bit. It's, it's very easy and I'll have detailed step-by-step -step instructions down below in the description. And if you're starting off new, if you want to unlock your bootloader and stuff, if you want a starting point, if you, if you are a total newbie, I have a detailed tutorial from a few years ago, which still kind of, kind of holds up. You can follow that. It's very easy. Uh, I link the link there down below, but what does not hold up is that if you try to install a new ROM on this, or even G apps, it's gonna give you an error saying that um, you have insufficient storage space or a system partition. And that does not have to do anything with, you know, 16 GB or 32 GB of storage. This one has 32, but it still gets that error. What you need to do is repartition your system partition. And to do that, you need a special version of TWRP and a command you need to execute in the TWRP's terminal. All of that stuff will be down below in the description. And, uh, if you want more help, you feel free to join the Telegram group for the Nexus 5 flashing community. You'll find a lot of helpful people out there. And yeah, without further ado, let's just talk about the features. Now the first feature of Android 11, you know, um, Android 11 is pretty light on features, but the main one is uh, the new redesigned notification, uh, the media controls basically, which live on your notification shade now. So to demonstrate that, I'll go ahead and play something on Spotify. And we'll talk about performance in a bit, but as you can see, it's a little slow, not that slow, but a little slow. I'm gonna play something from the Beatles. Uh, of course, muted, otherwise I'll get a copyright strike. And yeah, we're playing something. Let's go ahead with the nice album. Yep, that, that's, your, that's your new media controls for Android 11. And you can play and pause, you can go skip, and you can go back, and you can even skip to a certain portion of the track. It looks awesome, and 
what I really like is the adaptable background color depending upon the um, the album art and it has subtle ripple animation effects those you know kind of re refined material design click effects uh, so really like that as well and you can also switch your playback destination something which is kind of kind of borrowed from iOS I wouldn't lie so if you have like multiple speakers or Bluetooth device connected you can you can kind of switch between them and also control the volume so yeah there's that uh, one thing though which I don't like about this is that um, your because this thing takes up like half of your space your toggles kind of shift to the next space so instead of having like nine toggles you'll only have six over here and that's kind of a downside not just for next five but other Android devices as well but the larger your devices the larger your DPI the less you'll suffer because of this but yeah nevertheless I think it's pretty neat and this is easily the you know the top thing which I miss from Android these colored uh, media controls but nevertheless it's sort of improved and yeah I kind of like it the next thing I mean the only new feature I think I can think of is the new power menu uh, not kind of redesigned by lineage OS is the same thing and if you have like Google Home stuff they will show up over here and when I speak of stability I basically mean that nothing will ever crash on you I've used this ROM for a few days now and even though I haven't installed like a crazy ton of apps it works really really well I have never had an app crash on me and that's pretty good I've had I, you know I've tried a lot of ROMs and you know an early ROM like this an unofficial build like this they have the highest risk of crashing and not to mention you're running a latest operating system on like a seven year old device so I was really afraid that you know things would crash left and right but nothing nothing of that sort has happened no crazy battery drain bugs and I won't get into battery because you know this is like a five year old phone the battery is pretty degraded so no comments on the battery but it still has pretty good standby time and like two hours of screen on time and all that stuff uh, my only complaint and not just com I'm not complaining what you need to know about the performance on the Nexus 5 with Android 11 is that it's a little slow and surprise I mean that's what happens when you're running latest software on you know like a seven year old device so for example let's let's open Spotify I mean that was on RAM but let's open Instagram it's a pretty heavy app that also kind of loaded up pretty quick things will kind of it's, it's decent performance basically but sometimes if your apps heavy then it could take some time to load those things up if you have a lot of cash generated uh, then it could take a bunch of time to open up this sort of performance is still like acceptable by today's standards if, if like you, you you can find this kind of performance on like new like low-end devices redmi and stuff and people like you can give it a pass to be honest and you can definitely give this one a pass considering how old uh, how old it is so yeah even though it's slow it's it's pretty possible and I mean it still blows my mind like you, you're running the you know Android 11 on such a legend a beast of a device and it goes to goes on to tell how good the ROM development community is and how, how like they've kept this device alive for a long long time and th this thing came out in the year same year as the iPhone 5s iPhone 5s has a much powerful chip and the iPhone 5s lost support like three years ago in 2018 and this thing still works and I'm not giving Apple crap I, I, I really expect that and I'm, I'm you know I'm still using I'm, I'm using an iPhone and I, I, I expect to for this to last like at least six years but yeah you gotta respect this you gotta respect the ROM development community and all the people who have kind of poured their blood sweat <laughs> into compiling a ROM for this old of a device and still managed to make it half as good as you know any modern device I mean that kind of still kind of blows my mind to be honest and you know that's basically it thank you so much for watching uh, if you like this content uh, subscribe I don't make ROM videos but it's still fun to you know flash ROM once in a while and yeah subscribe like share all that stuff and I'll catch you guys in the next one cheers